This is a project that we call Storytelling Through Photography. The purpose of it is that we work with adults in the community and we were looking at ways in which we could work through literacies but make them more engaging, more enjoyable. We also ran photography classes which we knew were possible. So we combined them together and we look at the two medias of photography and literacy and the concept is adults go out to their community, take photographs that are of interest to them, something that might be relevant to their community. In this case, they're looking at something that can be legacy to new people coming into the community from the Chinese um, um, community. And looking at that with literacy, some storytelling about what happens around those photographs. On this project, it's been very successful in, in the sense that we're working with a school and we've also managed to engage the children. So it's very much a family learning project. We were contacted by the, the, the school and um, uh, Healthy Glasgow. Um, they wanted us to come along and work with a group of parents that they were already um, established within the school. And we presented a, a, a number of options and this option really stuck with them because they felt this was something that they could, could work with. The EL teacher from the school here was very keen to see it as a dual language project and to, to work with children and parents, um, something that would be, as I said, uh, would be engaging, um, something that could happen both within the school but out in the community as well. The evaluation of the project is uh, very important. One of the, the ways that we evaluate is that we do formative evaluation as we're going along. We have a, a, a group um, learning plan which people establish the, what, they're, the, what they see the project doing at the beginning. We do mid-term evaluation with that and then we do an end of evaluation. We also look for individual evaluations from the the parents and the partners, but most importantly we try to get people to talk about the impact statements that the, the project has made. Now they happen throughout the project, so we don't always wait to the end. We sometimes write something down and some of these impacts can happen midway through the project. Um, these are then all um, recorded and sent forward through, through to the funders for, for the project. The, the, the principal funding comes from Glasgow Clyde College and we work in partnership with integrated um, grant funding. So we supply the funding for the, the tutor, but in partnership with the school who provide um, funding for the, 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 the space. And in this particular project, we have shared some of the funding for outcomes of the project. So we funded printing of photo, uh, the photographs and the school's funding the printing of the books. So it's very much a collaboration with the, the, the key, key funding coming from um, Glasgow Clyde College. Well, I think the next step for this project would be to look and discuss with the parents where they would like to go. They're obviously working very well as a group and I think there could be a um, forward movement certainly in terms of some of the family learning that they've taken place. We, we do know that projects like this work very well because in some ways they self-motivate adults. We know for example that in terms of photography adults will now start going out on their own, taking their children out and taking photographs. This is fed back very clearly. We hope that they'll start looking at um, maybe developing some of their own stories with their children, but certainly reading stories with their children. So the, the, the discussions will take place at the end of the project to, to look at a next stage within a family learning project. This project has um, worked with a, a, in a, a number of schools. I think we're learning lessons from each of the the, the schools that we're working with. Without any doubt, this has been an incredibly successful one and we've learned a lot from here. I am, and we're getting more and more requests. I think it's happening, if you like, in the internal market that schools are talking about this project and we're starting to get requests from other schools um, about this. The flexibility of it allows us to work with a range of different groups under different themes.